Hey gang, this is going to be another um, video lesson. Um, this one I'm going to be talking about how um, how people read their opponent um, on a very like baseline level. So, wait, I'm fencing um, Cody Walter Jeans about, um, if you don't know who that is, then you should be watching this video. Um, and basically, um, I knew that uh, I needed to uh, step it up if I wanted any chance to do anything in this bout, okay? Um, and so I was looking and I, I visualized what his start was, okay? I knew the exact distance that he was going to go in, the exact timing, and you'll see that for that first touch, right? I slowed down. And then I took over the second that I saw him start to go back and I and I fully committed, right? And then we're gonna see how, how the rest of that plays out. So I'm gonna play the first touch now. Okay, so my bad. Real quick. Right. I saw I saw this really small hesitation. We're gonna watch it one more time because it's really, really so. I saw, did you see that stutter step, right? You can, you can, we'll watch it one more time. Look at his stutter step, right? When he does that, that's when I take over. Okay. So basically I saw, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write down everything that I saw, right? Um, um, so, Uh, Shit up, right? And so when he got to that, I, uh, I fully committed, you know what I mean? And I, I stayed a little bit and w like, what did I do? I overcommitted a little bit. Um, I'll, I'll play it one more time. You'll see that my, my, where, where my feet are when I need to make a decision is a little bit farther than what, what you'll see from like the, the other video that I, that I showed about like, this is where, this is where you need to make the decision. You know what I mean? Um, I, I kind of need to like name that thing. Um, and so at that point, I just fully ran at him and found my target and, and had confidence, right? Like I told myself, this is what I'm going to do and this is how it's going to work. And, um, and I made it happen. Right. And we'll talk about later, um, about how not to like over, um, excite yourself or something, um, like psych yourself out or whatever. Um, so I overcommitted a little bit and then I found my target and lunged. All right, because this might seem pretty baseline, but I feel like some of the people watching this aren't lunging and they're not looking. Like, okay, so think about the, these three things. Um, we're going to watch it, we're gonna watch it in slow mo one more time. I just want to make sure you guys are seeing all the things that I'm seeing that, about this touch. Right? Okay. So now we're going to go over um, what his thought process is. Because I think it's really easy to see, like, what a good fencer should be thinking if like I'm the one going against him, right? So let's start, let's start with um, like the questions that he should be asking, that he is asking because he does this for not a living yet, but he probably will. Um, Okay, so if you're think you might be thinking, so you're telling me he he like was thinking about four things in probably 
four seconds? Yeah, he was. Okay. And he knew the exact answer to every one of those questions. Okay. Um, because another thing, right? I say this, I say this sometimes when, um, when you guys just like make a really small change when it's pretty clear that I'm advanced enough to see a small change like that. You know what I mean? Like this guy's been through rounds and rounds and rounds and knows what changes look like. You know what I mean? And so, um, the other thing is that, um, let's go over it. So where, where I, this is, this is Cody, like looking at me, like, where's this kid? Where's his feet? And he's going to be like, Oh, they're a little bit over, um, over committed. He's a little bit too far. Right. So what do I have to do about that? What made him react? Um, those stutter steps made him react, but, uh, that, he must have like known something about that because most people fall short on that. And that's what I was seeing in all the other bouts. And he was like, Oh, well, if I just extend that a little bit, then he's gonna, he's gonna fall short after that because he's gonna think I might like be waiting long enough to go for a prep or something. You know what I mean? So it's this, it's this, um, like second, second guess, you know what I mean? Um, where did he hit? So this is one of the smaller things that is really vital. That is hard to remember because you're, trying to also think about all the other things, but where did he hit? I hit on his, um, his right shoulder. Um, so you, he might go for a parry and I think he does later in this bout. Um, and where does, where does he hit? When does he hit? Right. And that's a really small thing to think about, but I'm sure he is thinking about that. So let's, let's think. Oh. Oh. Okay. We're going to watch that one more time um, because it's really faint. All right, right now, I want everyone that's watching this to like write down what, what change you think he made. What change you think he made compared to the first one to the second one. I don't want you to go back and watch the first one again. I want you to just think at this moment what change you think he made. Okay, so what he did was he he went a little bit farther and he didn't do that stutter step, right? Because he wanted, he wanted me to react in a different way. And what he did was he jumped it a little bit and then saw that I was still committing and, and it was pretty clear that uh, that it would have been, it would have been a lot better of a, uh, you know, a benefit to to take that distance out, um, then, then try to go for attack and prep. Um, because like, I want you to see how far away I am from him at this time. I'm, I'm half his on guard line. Like I'm at, I'm at the middle line. He's all the way over there and I'm still trying to commit already. And he's like, Oh, that's all I have to do. Right. And then from there, he's like, wait, I already found the timing. That's all I need to do. So then if we look here, He, he does the same thing, right? But I, I go around it. That time, I knew what he was going to do because usually, right? Usually, I, this was pretty baseline, right? The main reason I didn't think too much about this is because this was the first na um, Div 1 knack that I, I actually felt like fully, you know, comfortable with, right? And I could have been thinking a little bit more like, oh, well, usually people that go for an edit, um, uh, a prep step and then a um, go for a pull are usually going to go for an attack and prep right after that, right? And I thought about it and I was like, uh, I'll just go for it and then we'll see what happens. And then I saw that happening and then I switched my line because I knew it couldn't be that simple. I knew, right? Because I know how smart of an offensor he is, right? Okay, so we're going to watch that touch one more time. Um, I'm sure Okay. So now we're just gonna we're just gonna watch it. Like just keep thinking about what he's probably thinking. Just right. well, let's let's look at my feet. Let's look at my let's look at where my feet are.
I was really deep. I was super far forward. Look, look how big that first step is. I'm going to slow it down. It's really big. And I want you to see this. This is, n I, I hope you know that this is a big step. Like this is really big. Really early. Yeah, that was disgusting. Okay. Um, I want you to, I want you to write down what, um, what it should have been. You know what I mean? Cause that was like, like where my feet should have been. You know what I mean? Uh, that was, yeah, that was not it. All right. We're going to keep watching. Um, but I, I didn't think about that. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about that. Uh, that's my bad. Blades a little bit too hot. So if I was a little bit, like, let's rewatch that because my timing is well. But I'm super tense and I just can't do anything with my blade because I'm already working so hard to get the attack. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, like my swinging my arm around and then pressing to the ceiling. Yeah. Just a massive swing to the side. What did he just do? What What did he just do? Tell me, tell me. I want I want you to uh, tell me what he just did. Um, I want everyone to like text me what what he did right there, right? Um, cause it's, there's one main thing that he just did. Um, all right, let's, let's go over all the stuff we learned, right? We learned what he's thinking, what Cody's thinking. And we learned what not to do. From me. Okay, um, and uh, last thing, I wanna I wanna preface this, or I guess the opposite of that, um, with the fact of like the the analytics that I'm talking about are a step ahead from what a lot of you may be, you know, fencing in your bouts, you know what I mean? Um, but just, just be aware of, of all of these things. And I know that's hard, but just like try to get used to it. Right. Cause this is, if you're thinking about these things, that's how you're going to get to the higher level. All right. Thanks for watching.